Hi friends, so in the previous tutorial uh, I created a simple script that would create an HTTP server. So in this what I will do is that uh, I will create an HTTPS server. So with the help of SSL what we will do is that we will secure the server so that if you have to uh, save or download something from that uh, HTTP server if someone is sniffing the traffic you or she wouldn't be able to see the traffic. So it's good for security purposes. Uh, HTTP is not secure. Uh, if you run a program like Wireshark, you can sniff the traffic and see what someone is downloading. So the good thing about uh, uh, SSL is that it encrypts it. Now, let's get it started. So in here, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that uh, let's go to the desktop and let's create this called uh, HTTPS server.py. Now the first thing that we have to do is that we have to import uh, like three modules. The first one is the H sorry socket server. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, then the other one is HTTP server, and the last one is the SSL server. Now the thing is that um, the first thing that we have to do is that we have to create a variable, which in this case I am calling it HTTPD. And then I'm saying socket server dot TCP server. So let me type this quickly and then I will explain what each one of them means. So by now, if you follow my channel, then you would probably have a good idea of what is what each one of them means. But uh, I will quickly explain all of them again because I've already explained these things in the previous one. Simple HTTP request handler. So what I'm saying in here is that I'm creating this HTTPD variable and in here I'm using the TCP server, this one, the TCP server function of the socket server module which we imported in here. And then I'm saying that run this TCP server. So what this TCP server function that does is that it runs the TCP server. So I'm saying it run it on all interfaces. What this uh, four uh, zeros mean is that uh, run it on all servers. So let's assume you have a computer and it has many interfaces like a wired interface and then wireless interface or maybe a couple of wireless interfaces. In that case, what you have to do is that if you uh, enter in these four zeros or the wildcard characters, what it will do is that it will enable it on all those ports. However, you can also specify it on a single uh, port as, uh, on a single interface as well if you specify its IP address. For example, if you only want to run it on your local server, you can type 127.0.0.1 or you can type localhost or if you want to run it on some other interface, you can do it. So it uh, depends on you. This 10,000, what is this? is It's a port number. So I'm saying run this server on port number 10,000. So in here, this is the name of the HTTP server, which I have imported from here. And I'm saying that run the simple HTTP request handler function of it. So it will run the simple HTTP server. Now, what uh, after that I will do is that I will say create a socket for this. So httpd.socket. And after that, uh, so after that I am saying what you have to do is that ssl.wrap underscore socket. And after that, what uh, we specify is that uh, you are saying httpd.socket. And after that, let's just, uh, we have to mention in the cert file. Cert file is equal to uh, root desktop. And the cert file in this case will be server.pem. And then we have to specify the key file. Uh, desktop. And then after that, I have to specify the so for the for the key, I have to specify server dot key. And after that, what I have to do is that I have to specify this server site or run it, put it to uh, set it to true. So this pretty much, I think this is all the rest to it. So in here, what I'm saying, I'm this HTTP D dot socket. It is equal to this one SSL dot wrap socket so it is using the wrap socket function of the ssl module which we import from here after that i am saying that 
for this HTTPD socket, use the certificate file and use this this key file which is located on the desktop and the server side set it to true so these are the options that this uh, wrap socket uh, function takes so these are the uh, arguments or the parameters that you type in or the options that you specify after that i'm saying httpd dot serve underscore forever so this is this variable that we created here this socket which is running on all ports, on, sorry, on all interfaces on port number 10,000. So I'm saying serve forever. So what that means is that run it indefinitely. So uh, let me minimize this for now. So let's go. Uh, on my downloads, I have downloaded a couple of them. So I can copy this server.pem and server.key. These two files I'm going to be needing. So let's copy it and let's paste it. So this is the certificate file and also the key file so these are the ones that i'm specifying root desktop server.pem and root desktop server.key so if i open another terminal and if i do an ls pwd so it's in my root desktop these two so this is why i'm typing this um, let me close this that's why i'm typing this option in here this uh, parameters uh, location so this is pointing pointing to my server and this is uh, to sorry this is uh, pointing to my certificate and this one is pointing to my uh, key file so if you don't know what this any of this means so or, or if you don't know how these are created the certificate uh, files put it in the comment section below and i will create another tutorial like how to create uh, these uh, keys so for now let's save it and let's change it to the executable so https server now if you see that it is executable now if you run it python 3 https server and on line 9 key file root desktop oh, apparently i made some mistake let's see httpd on line 9 so line and 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in here i have made a mistake oh yeah this shouldn't be in here so let's run it again enter the pin fast phrase so i will type the phrase that i set in while i created this certificate uh, so if you don't know how to create certificates just put it in the comment section below now in this what i have to do is that uh, let's open another window and let's check its ip address so in this case if i do an if config it has an ip address of 192.168.43.101 now let me open my Ubuntu machine in here if I go to uh, the web browser and if I type in something like uh, the IP address of it 192.168.41.101 and I was running it on port number 10,000 if you remember uh, so let me close this one so the connection was sorry just a second HTTPS. Now, if I go to advanced, so the thing is that uh, the certif these certificates that I created, these are not by default uh, imported into the browser. So I can import it. If I do import it, then I wouldn't get this message. In this case, since I don't need to import it, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. All I have to do is that add an exception for it. And I don't want it to be permanently. You can do it permanently if you want. And if I do it, then you can see that. I, uh, I have these two certificate files and then this is the server file so these are these ones let me minimize it this one also so, so I'm running this HTTPS server uh, script right now so you can see both of these you can see it on my Ubuntu machine this as well so in here let's say we create something a new folder like uh, test directory now you should be able to see that uh, on the other machine as well so if i refresh it now you can see that this is in here as well so this is a simple way of creating a https server in the previous one i explained how to create a simple https server this adds the functionality of encryption so it's more secure it's better if you have any questions or suggestions recommendations uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one